hey welcome back guys welcome back to another video so if you finished watching my lamborghini veneno tutorial from start to finish now is another video for you to learn how you can set up your rig or no get the car ready for rigging and animation so as of now the whole thing is just messed up but before we move on yeah i hope you've noticed the way i sound it's now different the mic <laughs> So as you can see now, this model was actually given to me by one of you guys. He finished the whole tutorial and I'm quite impressed with what he did here. It's it's very nice. He just, although he missed some parts, but this, this is cool. So I'm gonna, just going to use this to show you how you can do that. But right now, as you can see, the whole thing is just messed up. If you try to move the car, this, this, is, this is not good. You can't animate with it. But what you have to do is very easy. Just to separate the car part into like uh, five parts. That's if you don't want to include the wheel brakes. But that's what I'm going to do so yeah right now you just we just have to hide all the wheels wheel parts so let's just go ahead and do this we'll deal with them later so i'm just gonna hide these ones let's see so yeah everything is hidden so right now you would think you would have to like select one part and then go ahead and apply the modifiers one by one but there's an easier way to do it so all you have to do is select everything and maybe one of the parts and then right click and then go to convert to and convert to mesh that automatically applies all of the um add-ons no sorry applies all of the uh, modifiers you have on each part so as you can see everything is applied so you're going to pick one of the parts you can you want to uh join everything to so you just have to select everything and select this part yeah i'm just going to use the rooftop and then just hit ctrl j so hopefully that doesn't uh, bring, it, bring up any problems for you. It won't. It's not supposed to. That's if you've applied all the modifiers. So if you go into edit mode now. You can see your car is like separate and you have one body part like so. So I see here that I joined the Lamborghini logo here. So I'm just going to remove that. Uh, go into wireframe, remove it and hit P and separate selection. So now we can just bring all our tire parts back by pressing alt h okay alt h yeah to bring everything back so right now okay hold on let me see if i can turn on my um screencast keys okay it's not on so you guys are just gonna have to deal with that so anyways let's hide the body and deal with these tires so you can select everything and then right click and then convert to okay select one of those one of them right click and convert to mesh so right now you have all the modifiers applied so the first thing we're going to do is separate the mirrors so right now one object is mirrored to both sides but we're going to separate that so each tire can have its own individual origin so yeah so we're gonna go into edit mode for everything here and then go into wireframe shift z and then select one side hit p and separate by selection so now you have separate parts right here for each of them so for this tire alone we're going to like join every part of it to one so it can be, become one so that's that's what we're going to do so just join it to this outer part and hit ctrl j and yeah do the same for this guy and ctrl j do the same here ctrl j and this one too ctrl j so now we have four separate tires oh okay i guess he used a mirror modifier for both the x and the y axis so we're going to have to separate this one too so hit p and separate selection yeah so this is a separate object now so for the tires especially their origin needs to be at the center of rotation so you can have yeah so it can rotate if you don't do that your tire is going to rotate like this and you don't want that so okay hold on let's see yeah so if you don't do that your tire is going to rotate like this which because the origin is right here in the center of the world so if you want to do that just right click and then set origin to center of mass surface so as you can see the origin has gone to the center of the tire Oh, not exactly the center of the tire because this um brake caliper here is offsetting the whole mesh stuff 
but let's just put it at center for all of them origin to center of mass origin right okay this isn't joined so we're just gonna join it Control J okay no mesh data to join okay I haven't joined these ones yet so we just Control J and join this one so right click and then set origin to center of mass surface and do the same for this one and now for the last one we're gonna just do that right click center of master okay i already did it so no need so for these two now we can select both of them and this option right here and which shows origins location and parents yeah so if you click on the origins and go to the side view you can now move the origins and not the object so let's just move these ones a little bit to the on the y-axis just move it back like so and move it down just make sure it's on the center like this yeah so now we have this two on the do you have it on their center so now if you rotate okay turn this off first if you rotate the tire on the x-axis you have them rotating perfectly this tire doesn't look like it's perfectly circled but i don't know yeah it looks like an egg-shaped stuff but i think that's cool so this one is it it's still not rotating nice so let's just do that for this two too so we can click on origins go to side view and then just try to get it at the center as much as we can yeah this looks cool so we can turn this off now we do this rotate x-axis so we can see this is cool yeah so now let's unhide our car no before we do that we're gonna have to like rename everything and that naming stuff is quite tricky if you don't name your uh parts correctly there are some add-ons that rely on those names to rig your car so yeah that's all that's basically the last thing we need to do so i kind of kept these tab this tab open so we can i can check the name here because i usually forget this so let's check uh yeah mm, i think that's cool so for the tires let's select this one you want to face it okay this is the front view side view so this is your front tire right here and you want to come here and then rename it you can press f2 to rename or you can look for the object here to rename it so just press f2 and then let's remain rename this to uh, okay hold on let me check again i forgot uh okay yeah so the car name first which is uh veneno dot uh wheel dot ft ft meaning front dot l meaning left so that does it for the first one so i'm just i'm just gonna copy this the name for this one so we can yeah make things faster so press f2 Control v so you're gonna do ft um veneno dot wheel dot ft dot r for the right wheel and we'll do this for the yeah for the back wheels too so press f2 uh control v but we're gonna call this dot bk bk meaning back so no i'm pressing nk yeah bk dot l and this one is gonna get control v dot bk dot r yeah that is the naming for the tires so now let's unhide our car body so this one is quite easy so let's just rename it to uh veneno dot body yeah so yeah this is basically it the rig has been set up so for me to test this rig i'm going to use the add-on i showed um showcased in the last video which was the launch control add-on so let's just go here and then hit launch control so we're going to select everything and then click on rig vehicle well so yeah that's how you rig your car in blender yeah that's if you use a lot of shrink wrap modifiers to you know get some body parts so you just apply them and yeah that's that's basically it the naming convention is quite important especially for rig a car add-on yeah that relies on the naming convention so yeah um thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace. Oh!